Hi, welcome back. I've got John here with me again, and in this video, we're going to demonstrate some punch-in recording. Now, we liked the second take of what we just did, and I copied it to the next four bars, but I want to have him re-record the last bar where the chords change a little bit. So to set the punch points, we can do this as usual in several different places. We have the recording toolbar up here. We can auto punch toggle, turn it on and off, and it goes on and off there in the regular toolbar button as well. And you'll see that the extra flags light up in the time ruler when it's enabled and disabled. So there's our punch points. Now to set the punch point, I'm gonna go into my free edit mode here so I can select just the eighth bar. And what I can do is right click and go set punch points. And now we can see here in the punch in and out points that it's set to bar eight and bar nine. There's different ways of setting it. I did it by right clicking there. Of course, I could always set it there as well, but they're set. And I've set the loop points to loop the whole second four bars of the phrase, but we're only gonna be recording or capturing this last bar. So let me rewind it back to the beginning of the cycle point, And we're gonna try and record some and punch in on the last bar. You all set, John? Sure am, yep, let's do it. Here we go. Okay, great. So we can see here that with the layers displayed, we have those extra takes that we just recorded, and they're all happening only in the last bar because of the punch in and out points. So although John was playing along for the full four bars, it's only the last bar that got captured. So that's punch in recording in sound on sound mode. And had I set this to overwrite mode, what would have happened was it would replace the audio each time. And when I hit stop, I would only have ended up with the last take. And that's great if you want to just keep doing it until you get it right. But this way we have a choice and we can go through and audition them and decide which ones we want to use. So thanks a lot for stopping by, John, and see you all next time.